So welcome to country number 161. <laughs> Afghanistan! <laughs> Salam. 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 It's very good. Very good. You know, in the past, when foreigners came to Afghanistan and took pictures like this, when they came to Afghanistan for the second time, second time they printed the picture and give it back to the people. And this is why he is asking, will you bring us the picture? When I come back, I will definitely. That's a promise. I will definitely bring. Absolutely. And this is, I'm guessing. Uh, Girl, eh? He's a boy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and you are Salam. Oh, are you allowed to see? Yeah. Yeah. Salam. Um, and about, I'm guessing, three, four, four. Three? Four. Four. And then this is another boy. He's one and a half year. One and a half years. Hello. Salam. Oh, doesn't like the white boy. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just me then, okay, I thought it was just me. Oh, this is... <laughs> this guy is a... What? A gentleman. <laughs> yeah, that's just an example of what, you know, what experience you can run into by just stopping for a... A photo of somewhere random, completely unplanned as well. Yeah. On to Bandi Amir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. 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 We have some good to find. Good to find anywhere. Well, this um, this room looks fairly new. Yeah. Was it built by? My Karzai, just 18 years ago. Ah, okay, so just at the start of the occupation? Yeah. But built by the Afghan government, yeah. eh? Yeah. Okay. It looks in good nick. This is similar condition to the ring road? Yeah. So, you've seen the checkpoints of the Taliban, you've seen where the Taliban work, but have you seen where the Taliban go to play? Have you seen where the Taliban go for a holiday? And that's where we're going today. So let's go to Bandi Amir National Park. Oh my god, what a day! What a place, eh? <laughs> it's fucking fantastic. Here we go. Right, here we go. First look at Bandi Amir. Oh. My God. <laughs> oh my word, this is 10 times the place, it kind of looks like a Grand Canyon, but it's 10 times the place as a Grand Canyon. And imagine if this was in America, this would be considered one of the, the ninth wonder of the world. This is just unbelievable. Afghanistan does it again. All right guys, prepare yourself for what you're going to see. This is going to blow your mind. Welcome to Bandi Amir National Park in Afghanistan. Goosebumps. <laughs> This is, I just want to say there's not a sound, but there's a family there just behind us. I don't think I've ever seen water like that, that color. Down here, you've got a people in the pedalo, I think a couple of Taliban's, as I said before, they like to come here, relax, chill out, put their, well, I was going to say put their guns down, I think, probably got them with them. And the Taliban out here, um, 
in Bamiyan, in this area, in this province, are a little bit more progressive than everywhere else, which wouldn't be difficult, I suppose, but it means whenever you're going to checkpoints, you know, you're getting less questions, you're just getting waved through. And uh, yes, they're keen for a photo, if you want. What else do you say? This is just incredible. Welcome to the heart of Afghanistan, Bandi Amir National Park. Let me introduce to you a Talib toilet. Hold on. You'll probably notice no water, no seat, no actual toilet, but two holes. And why are there two holes? That's for two friends. They two friends, they yes. Have a, they can have a discussion. I tell you what, see the Afghans? They must be very close, eh? You know, they yeah. do everything together. They eat together, they drink chai together, and they also you go to the toilet together. Go to the shitter together. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, some some talibs. Uh, I will ask a question from the guy because. So whenever you come to Bandamir National Park, there's only one thing to do. Well, in fact, there's quite a few things to do. Obviously, drink chai is one of them as is with the rest of Afghanistan. But we are going to go, I must have been fucking five the last time I went on one of these. But we're gonna go on a little swan, a little pedalo, and explore, explore part of the lake, check it out. See what we can find, probably not a lot. And uh, yeah, let's see if anything exciting happens. Eh? I think we're just negotiating now. You finding this difficult? Are you relaxed? Yeah, I'm relaxed. I'm starting to wonder whose tour this is. Who's the tour guide here? <laughs> we are his friends, eh? How are you enjoying Bandemir? It's, it's your first time? No. <laughs> well, of all the things I have seen in Afghanistan, it took them until 2009 to um, put this as a, a World Heritage site. Yeah. And all the foreigners, like almost like 100% the, the, the Foreign travelers, when they come to Afghanistan, they definitely visit Bamiyan and yeah. Bandiamir. It is just... Um, and none of them say no. Trying to think what my expectations would have been like. Mm -hmm. um, certainly not as high as this. This is just like nothing I have ever seen. <laughs> I talk about the Grand Canyon in America, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And America has this incredible PR and marketing you know, scheme which they can do to anything. So they can turn anything that's slightly average in any country into something incredible and people want to go to it. Yeah. And Afghanistan has this and it's so difficult to promote it. Yeah. You know, if, it, if this was in America, <laughs> it would just be, um, yeah, people would be flocking to come here for sure. Yeah. Hey, don't fall asleep, okay? <laughs> don't fall asleep. Okay. <laughs> I do this because you carried my camera, I think it's only fair, huh? <laughs> it's fair. Yes, look at the colour of that. Let's see. Oh, it's fresh. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Have you bought your swimming trunks? Sorry? You gonna go for a swim? <laughs> is it cold, huh? Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> I'll give it a go. Hey, you're only in Afghanistan once, well, maybe. How's my parking, Mohammed? Do you think I could do this one go? Yeah. Ready? You're the best. Let's go. Here we go. No problem. Let me see, hold on. Oh, it's a lot. So welcome to country number 161. <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> Is it cold, oh. David? Oh, it's warm. Oh. It's fucking gross. <laughs> oh. To Afghanistan. <laughs> Zindabad, Afghanistan. <laughs> and other things out of the list that will surprise you when you come to Afghanistan. Oh my. It's cold. 
Yeah, this will shock once it's done, it's fine. No one can swim in, in, in the cold water like this. But you can swim though, eh? I, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> so Mohammed, do they have um, like homes or rooms that you can stay here overnight? Yes. Okay. Like, it is not like a guest house or like or like a hotel to have Wi-Fi and just warm a, water. Just a room. Yeah, just a room. Okay. Is this guy just going into the girls' toilets? Yeah. Haram. That's very haram. Yeah. Someone should. Someone else should be in. <laughs> yes. Oh, here I've got to, I've got to ask you a question yeah. because the toilets we've seen the toilets. There's two holes. Do you like to go to the toilet with a friend? No. No, that's okay. <laughs> he's so not a real of one. Yes, he's not a real yeah, yeah. We can try now, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he hits me. No amount of photos or videos will ever capture this. I will, I'll watch this right when I go home. It will not be the same. No matter how you well you do it, no matter how many you yeah. take, yeah. it just won't be the same. You know, you need to you need to be here to appreciate it. Wow. Mohammed. Yes. Where are we now? Uh, Kopruk. So this is the name of the town. Yeah, this is the name of the village. Okay. And this is the top of Bandiamir Lakes. Actually, uh, so we're about three and a half thousand meters above ground. Yeah. Or above sea level. Yeah. Is this it here? Uh, this is the health clinic. Oh, this is a health clinic. Oh, fuck. We just passed the school. Hi. Right, so pretty good facilities. Yeah. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Yeah. Just completely in the middle of nowhere. And this sort of shops as Fell you see up. in your left hand. Yep. <laughs> oh yes, they're the. The mobile shops, eh? Yeah. Bloody hell, I don't think I've ever seen so much this in my life. And that's just put outside the... That's put outside the dry, so it can burn easier in the winter. Yeah. So this is only... Because this is only the start of the summer, they yeah. won't be burning any of this for another six months. No, they are just collecting some more for, for the whole winter. So by the time the winter comes, they'll have a, yeah. lo a lot? Yeah, they have a lot. And also the winter is not three months only in, in this area. Ah. It will be like five months. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at that. Women doing the washing? Yeah. Yep. That's what we like to see. Oh my god. This is like something you'd expect, like something out of the Bible? Where am I? I, I so I, no context for you, unfortunately. I'm guessing this is obviously the water that's come down from Bamiyan, which will end up in a town called Mazar. And uh, yeah, here we have it. Here we have what an incredible entrance into the village. It's extraordinary. What a, what an incredible entrance to the village. You know? Yeah. It's like it is like something out of a movie, like Hollywood. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you will you will invite the filmmakers here to yeah. record the film here. What do you think has happened? We've been roped into another another glass of chai. I'm telling you, it is unbelievable. The hospitality is just incredible. Any person we spoke to, probably around 80% of the people we spoke to, at the end of the conversation, I would love to stay longer, but the other conversation, they're like, can we, you know, do you want to come in, have a glass of chai? and it's just incredible people are so so friendly it's like going back in time 1500 years carpet out to dry some cows Let's have a little look hey, bitch Will the will the yogurt be good for my stomach? I'm wondering yogurt or the chai be better? Yeah, Allah. Okay, you can try chai. Do you think maybe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> your, your safety is important. Yes, it is. Because we got long days. <laughs> this is what? Handmade. Oh, this is handmade. Yeah. yeah. By the family or? By the family. And this too, or no? This. Oh, very nice. 
Can I ask how, how old he is? Chancela Sir Sir Mega. Moyogan after the pine brush himself. Seventy five. Seventy five. <laughs> He's saying he's got aches and pains, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all do. Even even at thirty-five, I have lots of aches and pains. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I will have. I will try it, but I'll not put the spoon back in if that's okay. Yeah. And I will just. Let's have a look. Oh, this is making me hungry. Look at this. What is this from a cow? Cow or? Mega. No, mostly cow. Go, go. Yeah, cow. Go. Yeah. It's nice. Doesn't mean it's going to be. The bread is always good. This is good bread. Yeah. Stone baked, eh? Yeah. So we're not having it at home. Yes, very happy. Very happy. This is the type of experience I love. This is the type of experience I'm here for. You couldn't avoid this experience, you know? It's just everywhere, at every corner, you know? Everywhere you go, people willing to talk. Ah, there we go. It's green tea. Thank you. All, all for me. All for me. <laughs> you don't want this? No. God, he's a fussy man, isn't he? He's a fussy man. That's it, recording. Salam. 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 I would love to. Hey! Unfortunately. He says he will uh, take your passport too. No problem, I'll give it to him. No problem, he can have it. You shouldn't go back. And he can tell him he can go to Ireland. He can take my place. It's a good man. Good man. What's he saying? He is saying warm milk come in my home. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like him. I like him. I like him. I like him. He's, he, <laughs> lots of personality, this man. Zindabad. Zindabad, Afghanistan. So there you go. What an incredible experience. Money couldn't buy that. That was unbelievable and a perfect example of Afghan hospitality that I've been raving about. A bit sad to leave him, what a gentleman. They want us to stay, feeding us yogurt, feeding us chai. Incredible, honestly unbelievable. Yalla. Time to go. Time to go. Let's get out of here. Oh. Just for the record, it's quite a lot. Three and a half thousand meters, so the, the air is thin. I'm reasonably fit. <laughs> These guys are just diff built differently. Oh, Through the man made tunnel. Yeah, there's a door. In this tunnel was closed, no one could enter. Ah, okay. Yeah. So they get closed the tunnel? Yeah. So we're now inside the Red City. Yeah. Built 1400 years ago by the White Huns. Would have housed about 3,000 people. And as you can see, that's why it was built here. So you would have had Mujahideen going in here with their Russian AK-47s. Looking out over at the Soviets coming in. Yeah. Which direction would the Soviets been coming from Bamiyan side or from the from from this from the east? From that side and from this side. They'd be coming from here. Okay, so yeah. across the valley. So this is perfect spot. Yeah. So similar to the king who who built it. It's a perfect place to be. 
You all right back there? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my Look at that Even the mountains here are so different to the mountains yeah. Oh my Let me see Yeah, let me see if I get fired at the Taliban, huh? <laughs> They're over there, is that right? Taliban? Yeah. Just over there. Okay. Ah. In front of oh us. no, the, the Taliban and Bamiyan are. Okay. The gun is not on it. So yeah. So the gun would face gun me. It? Would face me. Yeah. Okay. So we. Oh, no English. I'm going to ask this question. We are uh, Mujahideen. No, I was very young at that. <laughs> because you know damn well how to work this, <laughs> eh? Where would the person be standing? Who was operating it? Here. Had a chair at, here. At, at the back and a chair. Yeah. And, and the uh, gun was just here. It takes one person to operate this? Yeah, one person. So here we are. It's 1989. <laughs> My name is Mohammed. Yeah, the Russian Azil. tank was just coming. I'm uh, from Bamiyan. <laughs> I'm a Mujahideen commander, not a very good one. <laughs> and at the minute, I'm looking for, uh, for the Soviets. See them coming over the valley from this side. Oh. Ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Four. Wow. That's it. And the Soviet war was finished. Finished. There we go, guys. If you are coming to Afghanistan, or you weren't considering going to Afghanistan, and you probably are now, you must visit Bamiyan. It has so many things to offer, it's just incredible. I am blown away. The people of Afghanistan, incredibly humble, incredibly friendly, hospitality like nowhere else I've ever been. I've been to some great places, you know, Philippines, Thailand, places in Africa where the people were so, so friendly, so welcoming. But here they would, uh, they don't have little, but, or they don't have much, but whatever they do have, they're willing to give you. I think that's it. We have our friends over here taking guard of the town at Bamiyan and uh, yeah we'll see you tomorrow so uh, overnight from the Red City. <laughs>